I'll be your right here is uh I can I interrupt you? <laughs> I, I I I I don't um I don't like using that word. Oh really? He's gonna be here in just a bit. I'm so excited. Yes, I'm also very excited. I think we can all agree, guys, no, that this is such a momentous moment for all of us, being that Easter Sunday is the first Hollywood produced Pinoy film ever. I agree, Doctora. <laughs> so, <laughs> without. <laughs> no, legit, legit, talaga. Come on, guys, are you excited? Yes! Yes! So, let's all welcome, without further ado, co global comedian sensation, Joko! back to you know the motherland unless I had something like this to really present because this was my main goal since the beginning of my stand-up career you know I started in 1989 I don't think people know that so if this was a dream of mine to like like when I was a kid I used to envision like coming to the Philippines with like a project like this so there were times where uh, I wanted to quit and uh, and thank God I did it well, having you right here is a manifestation that uh, I can I interrupt you? <laughs> I, 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 I don't um, I don't like using that word manifestation. Oh really? Yeah, I think it's overused and I think it's uh, misinterpreted and I and I think when uh, it becomes normalized in general like like basic conversation, then I don't think it's uh, I don't think you're really living your dream when you constantly say, I'm manifesting, manifesting, because if that's, if that's all you're envisioning, then, then your passion isn't there. I live this. I'm not manifesting it. Like, I, I, can, I, can, I can care less if anything else happens. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to live what I dreamt to do, no matter what. So I'm not manifesting anything. All of this is just a bonus feature in my career. <laughs> you know, so this right here is just like a beautiful chapter in a book that I was going to write no matter what. So it's not manifestation. And don't get me wrong, I love that you said it. I don't, I just, I feel like sometimes, uh, especially with this generation, I feel like they hear that word manifestation, manifestation, that's all they think that it takes to do it. There's so much more to this, man. You know, there, and, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, but like, like not everybody knows the backstory to someone's success, right? So it's like, you know how I got this movie. It wasn't this wasn't a Hollywood movie that Hollywood wrote. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I got this project done through a series of Netflix specials that wasn't offered to me. You know, so when when my first special, Live from Seattle, if you ever seen it, it's the first one that I shot for Live from Seattle. They turned that down. They turned it down like eight times. They kept saying no to me. So then to the to the point where I was like, okay, I'll, I'll fund it myself. And I, and I shot it myself, and I paid for that special. And I, and I, and I, I sold it to Netflix. And, and if that didn't happen, then Steven Spielberg would have never saw the second one. Yeah. And, this, and that's the one that Steven brought me in and asked me if I had a movie idea, and that's when I pitched him Easter Sunday. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, it, no matter, like I was gonna do it no matter what. I, 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 I didn't mean to step on you. No, no, problem. I, that's no, so problem. rude. I'm no, sorry. Thank, thank you for that life lesson. Now I know uh, what Joseph feels yeah. every time you uh, share your, your life lessons. It's a him. passion, man. Yeah. Like, you know, if you're going to tell me no, I'm going to show you why you should have said yes. Like when Netflix said no to me and they, you know, they were thinking that it was too specific. You know, that was the note Hollywood kept giving me. You're too specific. And you know, when you hear that in Hollywood, you, you, you replace the word specific with racism. Because what does specific mean? That doesn't make sense. My, my family story is too specific for your family story. There's no difference from my mom and your mom. So when you say specific, that's racist. So I didn't understand that. I was going to tell the story, and I'm going to tell my mom's story. And it didn't, you know, I'm, not, I'm not making fun of my mom. I'm talking about my mom. And this is a mom's story. And when you hear it, you're going to relate to it. You're going to realize that my mom is just like your mom, no matter what color you are. It doesn't matter if you're Filipino, black, Chinese, Japanese. It doesn't matter. A mom's a mom. That's wow. it. <laughs>